So in the previous video, we had set up the animation of this particular login view. Now let's go ahead and build up the contents of this particular view. So here, let's get rid of this text, which says login view. And instead, let's pass in a new animated dot view. Inside that, we'll pass in a text, which says get moving with Uber. Let's give that a style. And let's say styles.heading. Let's also style the text and give it a font size of 24. Let's come down here. Let's pass in heading. We'll say align items, flex start. Let's give it a margin horizontal of 25. And let's give it a margin top of 50. It's not in the correct place right now. That's because in our parent login view, we were aligning the items to the center. Let's get rid of both of these. And there we have it at the right place. Now below this animated view is where we'll have our tab gesture handler with which we'll be able to click the text input. So for now, let's just create another animated view. Let's style that by giving a flex direction of row and let's pass in an image component inside it, which will hold our flag image. So I've just downloaded one particular image into my assets folder. You can go ahead and get any image that you like, say dot assets, and we have india.png. Let's just close that out. Let's save that. And let's just style the image. So we'll say style, and we'll just pass them in inline for now. So we'll say height of 24, width of 24, and a resize mode of contain. We need to space it out correctly. So just here, let's pass in a margin of 25. Along with the image, now let's pass in a prefix, which will be the area code. So we'll combine the area code and the text input into one animated dot view. So first we'll have the text, which will be plus nine one for my country. And then we'll have a text input, which will have a placeholder of enter your mobile number. We need to make sure that we style this and give it a flex direction of row as well. Let's style the prefix text saying style, give it a font size of 20 and a padding horizontal of 10. Let's also style the text input by saying style, give it a flex of one so that it takes up the remaining space and give it a font size equal to the font size of the prefix, which is 20. And we also need to add a flex of one to the parent container. And there that looks much better. Now let's just clean this up. We'll make this styles.image for the image. Let's come down here. Let's add an image, paste that in. This will become styles.prefix. This is styles.text input. This is styles.text input container. And we can actually just get rid of this animated view and save that. And it should look okay because we've added flex direction of row to our text input container. And then we've placed these three items inside it. Now, when we tap the text input, the keyboard we want to show is only the numbers so let's just change that. We'll say keyboard type and set that to number pad. So now let's go ahead and wrap our text input into a tap gesture handler. So we'll get the text input container and around it, we'll pass in a tap gesture handler. Make sure to import this in from react native gesture handler. Then we need to get the on handler state change and the on gesture event methods. So let's set them up here. We'll get rid of this translate Y here. Let's say const let's set up a gesture state, which is going to be a new animated dot value. And we need state from react native gesture handler. And we'll start with the state, which is undetermined. We also want to remember this across state changes. So we'll just use use ref here. Next, we need to set up our gesture handler. So we'll say const gesture handler is equal to, 
and we'll use the on gesture event helper method available to us from redash and here we can pass in the state which is going to be gesture state dot current so the on gesture event is just a helper method all it's returning to us is this on handler state change and the on gesture event with the state that we pass in it's just a shorthand to return our on handler state change and our on gesture event as of now we're only interested in the state that's why we pass the state in so once that's done let's come back to our tab gesture handler so we'll say gesture handler but now there's a small issue here and that is when we tap the text input instead of it being handled by the tap gesture handler the text input becomes active that's because the tap gesture handler doesn't actually create another view inside it it just wraps the underlying view with the handler so what we need to do is we need to pass in another animated dot view here which wraps all our child components and then in the text input container we can disable the click on the text input by using pointer events and setting that to none now if we tap this we see that we can't engage with the text input but are directly accessing the tab gesture handler now let's go ahead and set up the code for this tab gesture handler so basically our aim is to tap this text input and toggle a value just like we were toggling the scale value we'll toggle a is open value then just like we use the timing transition in this case we'll use a sprint transition which creates an is open animation depending on that is open animation we can translate the outer y value and move this to the top so as we go about it it'll make more sense let's just copy this out and move this below the inner log in y now let's go ahead and set up our is open value so it's a const is open is equal to use ref new animated dot value of 0 then we need to set up an is open animation which is going to be with spring transition this time which is similar to the timing transition but it's just going to give us a spring animation and then pass in the is open value now we need to go ahead and set up another use code hook so let's say use code condition we want to check if the gesture state dot current which is the gesture state of the tap handler has ended so we'll say state dot end that means the tap is complete we want to run this code in these square brackets here before we set is open we'll check if is open dot current is not equal to 1 that is it's equal to 0 then set is open dot current to 1 let's save that and now that we've set is open dot current to 1 from 0 when we tap this tap gesture handler is open animation has been translated with a spring transition from 0 to 1 depending on that let's animate our outer log in y so here let's say const outer log in y is equal to interpolate over the is open animation we need the input range which is going to go from 0 to 1 and the output range is going to go from the screen height minus the log in view height which we had already set here as a default value and then when we tap it we want it to move up to the zero value see here we'll say screen height minus the log in view height and then move it up to zero now let's pass this out a log in y instead of the screen height minus the log in view height and it seems like our app crashed because here we need to pass in is open dot current since we're using use ref let's reload the app again now if we tap this we see that our spring animation is working in the next video we'll go ahead and try and wrap this up by improving our spring animation and animating the rest of the components